Hey Scorpio, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Julia Divine's channel, what is that? My name is Amy. If you're returning, welcome back to my channel. So this is your message for February 16th to the 30th. So let's get going. Some messages from my facts deck that I made. The first one says you're better off. So there's something, I think this is a romantic, definitely for sure. I feel like there's some person, it could be a friendship, but whoever this is, you're better off without them. Do you do something to raise your vibes? You need to raise your vibes in the second half of February. Find happiness within you. A new love is coming. Those are your four messages for the beginning of February. Going into your reading, Scorpios. Okay, so kind of like the Virgo reading. I feel like it's it's semi sort of like the Virgo. So you guys could be kind of dealing with a Virgo, but or a Gemini. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Um, eight of Swords. You feel again stuck and you feel stuck or bound to someone. Um, I don't feel like this is someone new yet. I feel like you are having a hard time getting away from someone. You feel um emotionally attached to them. You might not be physically in a relationship, but I feel like you're still emotionally connected to this person and it's leaving you feeling stuck because I feel like a part of you does want to go, but I also feel like a part of you loves this person and you don't want to give up on this person. But I feel with the overall messages, Scorpio, is that um, you're too, with the Knight of Pentacles coming right up there, you're too busy looking behind you at your past to see what's actually in front of you. So in order for you to get out of your own way, you need to lead the past where it belongs and you need to look at your future or your present moment. Um, because I do feel like, like the card said, new love is coming, but you're never going to see it if you can't disconnect yourself from things that are not serving you anymore. Um, there just, there comes a time and a place where you have to ask yourself, you know, am I holding on to this person for the right reasons? Am I holding on to this person? Because I feel like, you know, ultimately we can work this out or we can come back together. Or am I doing this because I'm afraid of new love coming in? Am I doing this because I'm actually afraid to be happy because it's, it's a fear. And when fear comes around, that's an illusion. And I feel like what's going on for Scorpio is that you could be literally afraid to fall in love again. You could have had met someone and I'm just throwing this out there. And uh, this person is pretty much everything that you've wanted this new person. And, you've got this mindset that this person is going to do exactly what someone else has done to you, but you can't do that square blue. You cannot go into a new connection with the same mindset that someone's going to hurt you the same as someone else does because you are, you attract what you are and you are attracting. Some of you are really attracting the wrong type of people into your life because of your mindset. So just be very cautious of that in February that that's definitely what could be going on. Um, kind of like what else I said is like the fuck boy situation. So if you're constantly getting people coming around that are just want to fuck friends or fuck boys, you got to ask yourself, am I manifesting that? Am I, am I being open and honest with the universe and saying that I'm ready for a new commitment? I'm ready for a new relationship. Am I ready to, you know, expand and open myself up to that? Um, because if you're still fearing from what someone has done to you in the past, if you're still connected to a past person or a past connection, then you aren't ready to dive into anything yet. But that's where a lot of healing comes in. That's where that, that need to let go, that need to kind of work on you right now, Scorpio, um, because this new love is coming in. Uh, it will come in because we have the Knight of Cups. So this person that's coming towards you could be another water sign. Uh, they ultimately at the end of the day, what I'm feeling with just those three cards is that if you were to disconnect from a person that you know is no longer good for you, if you were to disconnect from a person who wasn't serving of your higher good, if you were to disconnect yourself from a person who, you know, you guys just don't fit there. You clash more than you fit. If you stopped looking at your past and start started just focusing right now on the present taking it one day at a time, manifesting what you want. The magician is here as well. So that's manifestation. Like I said earlier, if you did all of that and you allowed this new love to come in on its own divine timing from the universe, from God, you would be in a much better place. And I feel like, but it starts with you. And I feel like I love seeing the queen of swords up here right now, because that's what it tells me. It's going to start with you. You're going to get to this place where you're going to realize, you know what? I can't be living in that eight of swords energy anymore. I got to find this light within myself. I got to take my power and control back. I have to go within. I got to heal. I got to let go. I got to work on me. I got to find a balance. I've got to, you know, pick up the sword 
and, and know that it's okay to eat at the table alone for a while. You know, you don't need a bunch of people at your table anyways. You know, you know what happens when you get a bunch of people together? They all gossip anyways. So it's like, you don't need that in your life right now, Scorpio. You need you. You've got to be your own best friend right now. So whatever past connection or current connection that you're holding on to, Spirit's saying, if you want new love, if you want a new connection, then you have to stop looking at your past. Stop looking at what everyone else has done to you and just start focusing on, okay, what did I learn from those situations? Because that's what's going to drive you further. Um, but yeah, totally bring that light back to you. You've got to work on healing the inside out. You know, a lot of people, when they go through breakups, they all want, they always want to heal the outside first. They always want to lose weight, you know, work out, which is great. But if you're not healing your mind, your soul, you know, your heart, what's going to happen when the next blowout comes, you know, you're just going to go in and be all over the place again. Okay. So I do sense that that could be an issue where some of you in the past have really tried to heal, but you're doing it on all the wrong reasons. So Scorpio, my, my thing for you would be to look at this last past experience as a lesson as, um, what is that? Like, uh, I don't want to say a collage, but it would just be looking at that past connection and saying, okay, what did I honestly learn from that? And what can I take from that to go for like, to go into my next relationship or into my next connection? Like, what do I need? What do I want in my life? And, th and that's where I feel like you guys need to go. You need to manifest. You attract what you are. What you put out into the universe is what you're going to get back. And like I said, there's a commitment. There's an offer coming towards you guys. There's blessings. There's connection. There's, there's fulfillment, right? With the seven of cups followed by the ace of cups. So you got to keep your eyes on the bigger prize right now, Scorpio. You're not seeing everything you need to see, but this cup is empty because you have the chance to fill it up with what you want, whether it's joy, happiness, love, fulfillment. You have a choice right now to, to fill that up with whatever you want with that, whatever calls to you right now. Um, but honestly, like the water is calm around you guys. So I feel like once you get out of your mind, once you get away from that fear, I just heard happy times, right? You know, is it going to be easy? No, it's going to take strength. It's going to take tons and tons of patience and divine timing. But you with with all of that comes love. Lovers. You could be going into a twin flame or a union or reconciling with your divine masculine or divine feminine. So it's being in this place where it's like, you know what? Get yourself focused. Get yourself grounded, Scorpio. And know that whatever previously connection you are leaving, you're leaving it because it's not for you anymore. All right? So your oracle card says, dearest you, let us ask you, are you looking for happiness outside of your everyday moment to moment experience, thinking you will find happiness out there someday? So many go chasing a magic it out there, but it could never be found there. So we want to share a secret that shouldn't be a secret. You are pure joy. What made you is pure joy. And every time you wake up and even when you sleep, you have joy waiting to be expressed inside you. Joy and happiness and fulfill fulfillness comes from doing joy, being joy, knowing it, cultivating it, and lighting it in your heart uh, so you can share it. You must know this so when the time comes, you will be fully free and your joyful being and actions will turn into a beacon of starlight. Look within and be joyful even for tears and loss, for they mean you have lived, really lived, jumped into it all, and love every minute. We all love you like crazy over here. How beautiful is that, Okay. I like when my readings validate the cards because, like I said, you have to look within, Scorpio. This is this is time for you, all right? When all else fails, if you're not ready for a relationship, not ready for a new connection, perfectly fine. But be honest with yourself when it comes to that because I feel like jumping from one situation to another is not the answer, but there is a commitment. There is an offer coming, but you have to look within and ask yourself, am I 100% ready to offer something to someone? like this. Okay. In this state, you know, work on healing what you need to heal, work on your mind, work on, you know, your mental and I'll be praying for you guys. All right. So I'm sending you guys all love and light for February for the second half. Um, yeah, take care and hopefully it resonates. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in March.